Bark, bark. Mom, hurry up. I want to eat some more food. Let's do this. All right. So uh, we're going to pull another question here off of YouTube. Again, that's where we're getting these questions. Yawa question. Throw that in the comments and then ask your question on any video on our YouTube channel. So this next question is from GQ Outdoors. So I have a 10 week old puppy and he has been doing great when here, sit and kennel. However, he has decided that he wants to bark a lot before he makes his way to where mm. we are place training him. Yep. I don't mark when he is barking. He'll bark, I'll ignore, he'll realize he needs to go to his kennel and then I'll mark. Should I continue to just ignore the barking prior to him getting to his place or do you have some other suggestions? So that th goes back to Questy Pop. I was gonna mm -hmm. say, I wonder if you've seen any of Quests. Mm -hmm. She was a really early, turd. really early training videos with her um, and clicker training. There, there was a couple videos. She's probably the quietest dog we have. She too. is the quietest dog and we she have. Was now. A mouthy she little was a She was so demanding puppy. when it came to training <laughs> sessions. She just um, and part of our training session issue, I think, with her was also involving the fact that I'm doing a training session live trying to work with a young puppy clicker training, as well as explaining what I'm doing to the camera. So a little bit of our momentum would slow down. She'd get impatient and be like, I want to work for my food. You need to keep feeding me. Stop with these interruptions. And she would get mouthy and bark at me. Mm -hmm. Bark, bark, mom, hurry up. I want to eat some more food. Let's do this. So step one, go to our YouTube channel and bop onto the section that says playlists, or even better yet, fastest way to get there, standingstonekennels.com slash links. That's kind of a landing page we created on our own website. Yeah, we haven't mentioned that for a while, so no, I'm glad you brought it up. One. And then you can uh, go down there, it says quests, training series, click the link. It'll take you straight to her playlist, and it's definitely in the earlier stages of her training when mm -hmm. we're just starting with clicker training. And we show exactly how we work through it and how we were able to go from um, and, and part of that was, it was, it was kind of a two part process, but we show exactly how we work through it with those. If you watch those first, like, I don't know, six, eight videos. Yeah. Because it is, you're, you're thinking about it properly <laughs> in a sense of, well, I'm not going to reward them or give them attention for the barking behavior because that's not what I want. Correct. I want them to get on the dog bed. So I'm ignoring the unwanted behavior and rewarding the wanted behavior. And that's typically what we would recommend. Now, if that barking becomes very persistent or it has to happen prior to every rep of going on the dog bed, you're also potentially creating another problem because anything dogs are doing consistently, they're conditioning themselves to. And we don't want your puppy to understand or think that this is part of the sequence. I bark, get on my bed. That's what I'm ask being asked to mm -hmm. do. That's how I do this because otherwise they're going to become conditioned that, well, this is part of the sequence and it has to happen in order to get the reward. Yes, that's how specific this uh, positive reinforcement aspect of things go, especially when it's the dog's idea. If they come up with it and they're like, all right, so I did this and it was marked, then you're going to see that more and recognizing the fact already that you don't want to be marking when that's happening is ideal. Yeah, so you have to read the situation and if you see it becoming a habit, then we're going to need to interrupt that cycle and I believe what we ended up doing for Quest was keeping the reps closer together, which prevented her from getting mouthy her specifically cuz her frustration was having to wait. Yes. So we were so able to So I actually to, picked her up yep. to explain to the camera so that she wasn't barking at me and running around and being crazy. I picked her up so I could explain, we're going to keep these reps closer together build that momentum and make sure that we're repping, 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 giving those rewards really consistently and quickly for her. Absolutely. And when we were able to go rep to rep to rep to rep to rep, then end the session, it kind of just conditioned out the need or attempt for her to think that she needed to be barking. Yes. And it was, that was probably one of the last videos that we saw that in because um, with repping her prior to the next video, it was pretty much taken care of because that positive reinforcement is such a powerful training tool that they learn specifically what I'm truly getting rewarded for. Absolutely. That was a great question.